Okay, you might have seen my earlier video, Workaround for Google Translator Toolkit. Here is the process. You go to your Mara video. Uh, you then... You download the SRT, which... Uh, Russian original, in this case. Click on it. <coughs> And it should be, yeah, here it is, download as SRT. I've already done that, and it's on the desktop. It's right here. Make sure you rename it as an SRT file. It downloads as a .ru, .srt, and Google doesn't like it. So from there, we go to, uh, we go to Google. Go to Google Translator Kit. Um, which is available through translate.google and you click on translator toolkit and then it opens up this and I've already uploaded the translator or the document I want to translate uh, in this case I'll just go ahead and open it close all these other um, and the reason you have to do all this is because um, Google Translate does not support SRT files. The automatic translation does not work. So you have to use the uh, <clears throat> the translation tool, which is right here. This page isn't, would you like to translate it? Click Translate. And then all of this gets translated. See that these are now translated into English. Um, and now <clears throat> I've already edited it so what I need to do is hit the space control J and now it jumps to the next field which is what I want so space and now hit J to jump to the next space J to jump to the next space J to jump to the next space J to jump to the next and I'll scroll down so you can see more of this mindless monkey work that Google makes you do because they haven't figured out Know, how to import SRTs into their system and then translate it. So this is a dirty workaround, but it does work. And it's relatively fast. It's not, I'm not even looking at the translations at this point um, because I just want to get the computer translation in. And then I can go back and try and figure out what is in fact said in the translation um, in Russian so I can figure out what they're saying in Russian and, and I'll have a, a rough sense of what they're saying in English uh, actually both I'll have a rough sense of what they're saying in Russian and a rough sense of what they're saying in English but that's how you do it and um, the translation says it's 17 percent complete that is not in fact the case because I think that is oh see now I've got to go back because I didn't put my space in <clears throat> okay so it is updating I'm now 18 percent complete uh, let's see if I can catch that yeah, okay, now I'm 19% complete. I click save. And there I go. It should be saved now. And if I go back to Google Trends, there, I'll click save over here as well. Um, now, how do I get back to Google Translator Kit? I don't know. Uh, and now if I F5 to refresh it should show oh, it shows 10% complete now 840 that's right so this is not accurate or this is not accurate this is 10% this is 19% anyway <clears throat> quick and dirty um, very inelegant a uh, A macro of some kind would be ideal so that I could just point the macro at 
at this at these fields and have it perform the space control J for me automatically. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Um, but there it is. It's not pretty. It's not efficient. It's not. Uh, it's certainly not the work of a programmer, but it gets the job done. And sometimes that's all you need. Thanks for watching. Happy computing.